So hello guys, welcome to Pen Trading Testing with Spirit. My name is Spirit Wolf and today we are going to do Blue Box from Vulnerable Hub, Blue Box 2. So here is the Blue Box 2 on Vulnerable Hub. So uh, this box was released on 10th Ju June 2018 and it was made by one of my good friend Manish Kishan Tanwar and the series is called Blue. And you can download it by going here the download button and just click on this link and you will be re redirected to their google drive from there you can download it directly and th there is also a torrent link so and here's the magnet you can use torrent and also do follow uh, him on twitter that is indishel1046 so uh, let's just start i'm using parrotsec os uh, Currently, I'm using 3.11 stable version. It's quite old, but I'm still using it. Doesn't matter. And here is our blue box. So here, uh, if you can see right here, 10.0.2.10 uh, is the IP address for the uh, blue box. So let me just show you the network setting first. Uh, here you can see I'm currently using NAT network not the net it's net network and same on my parrot set os right here as you can see okay so uh, in most of the cases you will not get uh, the ip address so for that what we can do is just do ifconfig on your terminal copy your ip address and you can use net discover for this uh, let me just show you the various options that you can use uh, okay so you can use minus i for the devices like eth0 and minus r for the range so we can use like uh, minus r and the ip address that is 10.0.2.0 and 24 and just hit enter so now within a couple of seconds you will get the IP address we got the same IP address again so it's pretty awesome thing that you can do if you don't know it then it's a great learning for you so <coughs> now what we can do is we can start our nmap uh, nmap uh, minus ss sv and sc uh, minus ss is used for the sys uh, tcp scan and minus sp is used for uh, version scan and minus sc is used for the um, what it is the default script so we can directly type it and here minus capital p small n is used for no ping and just give your ip address and just hit enter and within few minutes you will get the result so if you will go back to the below box so here you can see other packages used that is php apache mysql and apache tomcat so these three are using on the below box too so from this we can generally think that it's r running on port 80 maybe on port 443 or maybe on port 8080 or anything so the scan is complete let's just again so, uh, i apologize for the voice actually uh, i had bought this mic uh, bm800 but uh, it's not working on my laptop so just suggest me which mic uh, can work on linux so here as you can see the port 22 port 80 port 111 and port 8080 are open so on port 22 ssh service is running and it's running on the version open ssh 6.6.1.p1 and on the port 80 as you can see it's running the service http and it's running the version apache httpd 2.4.7 and on port 111 you, uh, rpc bind is running and it's running on the, uh, running the version 2.4 and in last the port 8080 is running and it's running the service same like 
port 80 HTTP and it's running the version Apache Tomcat so maybe there are th th actually there are a ton of ways to do the box uh, but today we are going to do it using Apache HTTPD so let's just start uh, so first we need a browser just get a browser I always prefer private window so just get rid of it and just hit enter so here as you can see blue box uh, is there so there is nothing and if you will go here you can see um, maybe in last here it is running Drupal so it's running the Drupal version so the best thing is just check the uh, what it is the inner scan it generally show you because we had used the default script so it will get everything for us so it's running Drupal 8 just copy this go back here go to Google just type here and just type exploit and just find the exploit for it uh, let's just do this Drupal didn't do uh, and let's just open both of these okay so this one is uh, written on Ruby it is by the author is Scott Milk and the another one is the same which is written in Python so what you can do is so let's just try to get what it is so it's asking for a target we need to define our target that is the IP address with HTTP and then it's sending it here and then it's using this so and maybe it's executing this, com this command so now okay that's pretty good so but I prefer the got milk because got milk has a lot of followers and he used to work uh, for the offensive security so let's just use his exploit just copy this and clear this we don't need it anymore mkdir uh, let's say billu billu2 and just do billu2 and hit ls there is nothing exploit.rb and just paste it here and just save it okay so our exploit is here just try to run it using ruby exploit so we need to define our target that in this sense https or http so our this is running on http because it's running on port 80 if it was HTTPS then it must be running on not must be but uh, it was running on 443 something like that so just just do exploit HTTP colon colon 10.0.2.10 and just hit enter and it's sending and maybe we got a worse shell so just do ID and we got n so we are www data so now we need to get the reverse shell so for that what we can do is we can do nc minus nv lp we are going to start a listener 1337 and here what we can do is we can go here here is the reverse cheat sheet from the pen test monkey so reverse shell cheat sheet I always prefer this one just copy this one the python one this is very stable and just here so we just need to change the IP and the port so we are listening on port 113 as you can see here listening on port 443 and we need to define the IP address and just hit enter and on the meantime you will get this reverse shell that's amazing now just do python minus c4 make it more attractive import pdy module and the pdy dot spawn uh, bin bash and everything is just oops something went wrong import oh, i forgot something like 
Just copy this here and we need to do the semicolon and just hit enter. So we are okay, so it's working perfectly. Now just type control Z and do HTDY row minus echo and just do FG for foreground to request and hit enter again and now we can do the tab completion but uh, we can't use clear so for that what we can do is we can export the path for the term so let's just do echo hash term on our parent set os it's x term so we can do e x p o r t t e r m is equals to x term and now we can use clear command also that's pretty amazing so now what we need to do is we need to escalate the privileges so let's just start so for that i always prefer uh what it is len enum sh uh, you can directly get it from len enum sh just copy this one okay just draw it's by reboot user okay go to temp mkdir spirit i always prefer to work on my own directory okay so now just nano then enum dot sh just paste your script here end of script save it ls it's here you can directly run here by using bash command but we can do chmod plus x lin enum and now we can run it directly so now it will take a couple of seconds and it will do okay so let's just start what it is doing so it's started at this time okay and it's currently using the 4.4.0551 genetic uh, kernel and it's using 14.04 ubuntu that's pretty old maybe the kernel exploit is also available uh, we will try to do it uh, but in the next video and here you can see <coughs> i apologize uh, so there are two users logged in previously uh, root and initial okay and okay group membership okay initial have no admin or root okay no problem so we have oh this is something interesting okay that is okay so nothing like this so maybe we can try to crack this hash this sorted hash and what we can do is okay so as you can see right here is the term path which we just uh, exported and this one sh okay mm. Okay, these are the clone jobs. Generally, I don't see anything here. Okay, RP history. As you can see, the, uh, the connection is, is established and it's running on various ports like these. Okay, and here are the UDP ones. These are the TCP, and here are the processes that is running currently. And here you can see bin bash and bin sh have all their permissions that is pretty interesting thing and i don't see anything here okay okay uh, okay um I can't see any important thing here right now. Uh, these are the file location useful file location, netcat, wcat, nmap, gcc curve. That is pretty amazing thing. And can be read write sensitive file. 
and here you will see that we can write on etc password so that is pretty amazing so if you will just copy this one clear and just do ls minus l a and oops sorry what it was l a uh, e d c password right just hit enter so we have got all the permission to read write and execute uh, okay so what we can do is we can write our own module on python let's just do simply we are used to we are going to use the script library from python uh, if you will go here and you will type python crypt and you will get it right here so function to check the unix password and you get you just have to write crypt.crypt word Sorry. So let's just try it out. Uh, we are going to use Python minus C. We first need to import I M P O R T import script C R Y P T, and we just need to use script dot script and the password uh, maybe like spirit, and then we just need to define the hash uh, like dollar six dollar salt okay so this is the same thing that we got from there uh, here uh, if you will actually i'm trying to just guess it because it's using dollar six and then the salt hash I'm just trying to do it and just hit enter okay it's not printing anything let's just type print here and it's none maybe we have done something wrong let's try to um, change okay so now just hit enter okay we got it just to copy it just copy this and clear now to the nano edc password and let me just tell you this root is the user this x is for the password and this u is for uid this u uh, this zero is for uid and this zero is for gid and this is root root and it can run when bash so what we can do is we can just uh, uh, replace this x with our salted hash and just save it and now if you will do get edc password you will get oops here it is right here here uh, okay so what you can do is you can do su root and the password is spirit just let me just copy this paste it and hit enter and you are root so ls oops, root ls maybe there is nothing okay it also don't have any flag uh, like locate for flag there is nothing flag dot text there is nothing okay so this was the first way to do this um, privilege escalation and the second one is uh, so it was only the first way and now let's try to root um, the same box using second way so i'm just hit exit so now we are again www data so now just find Mm -hmm. slash minus per minus four thousand for sticky bits or suid and then we can use like dev null for redirect all the uh, okay 
So here is interesting thing that is opt as. It is quite different. Let's just do this. Hit enter. It asking for the password. Okay. Ashes denied. Okay. So because we don't have password. Let's just think we don't have root password. So we can't just do it. So what we can do is now what we can do is um, let's just do strings on this binary and see what it is trying to do so it's trying to run this command scp so whenever you will get something like this uh, in oscp box also you will get something like something similar on on hack the box also you will get something similar so what we can do is we can replace our bin bash or bin sh with this command so it will run the it will execute the same scp because it's trying to execute this scp from our uh, path like this one echo slash path so and now just to which scp it's using user bin and here you will see user s bin is here here is user bin so it will try to execute the scp from here so what if we will replace uh, this path with our own path and replace this scp with our sh so let's just try to do it uh, <coughs> then only you will understand so first we need to copy the uh, bin sh uh, here on the scp just copy it on the same directory bin sh and do ls so here is our sh now just copy the sh to scp so now it's here so now what we can do is we can export the path e x e o r d export the e a t h path to uh, first we will keep the path e a t h the same path and then we will try to add our on path like maybe the binary path you can add directly so what it will do is let me just show you quickly eco path now as you can see this path is added so on the same way we will try to edit the path so let's just uh, rid of this path we don't need it suppose just do this so now there is no path uh, actually we will be needing this later so what we can do is just paste it here for the other purposes so do ls like this we can't do anything so first we need to uh, where it was yeah here we had copied it and cp so first we need to we need to give it the executable permission so for that uh, we can use like do chmod and it will say there is no bin chmod we can use export export path to um, bin and just hit enter and now if you will do chmod plus x on scp then it will do the exactly the same thing so now what you can do is run the opt s and hit enter okay so nothing really happened uh, maybe wait let's just check it okay so it's not working um, maybe we had done something wrong okay so let's just do oh okay so we had exported our path also ECHF4 slash path. So
so it's bin we don't need bin we need uh, scp is uh, in the temp dot temp spirit directory so we need to give this path let's just rid of it okay see, so we can now run this clear also export path to um, just do something like this or maybe you can okay so we can't use it hmm. so okay so now it if you will do opt s okay so still it's not working so echo slash path okay export 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 path to temp spirit and hit enter and let's just try to opt s okay so it's not working okay that's <laughs> uh export path to this and do ls so we can do ls now mm, let's just try to like something like echo then sh to mm, scp ls okay so now it's done give chmod plus x to scp and what we can do is we can now just get rid of the path so export path is equal to the current working directory and do op s and we are root oops so we can't use it again so we need to give exp or e expot path is equals to this path again and do ls id oops ah and i ruined it completely Okay, so maybe we can get directly the shell again. Uh, let's just open new terminal and see minus nvlp one double three eight, and here it was just started again, and we were using the Python one. We are now listening on port 1338. Just close this one. We have ruined it. Mm. 1338 and just change the IP 2.8 and just hit enter. And you will get the shell ID. We are here. And now, if you will do like Python minus C IMPORD import PTY PTY dot spawn pen dash okay so now you can do HTTY draw minus echo FG and port term is equal to x term so now just opt sh no opt s okay so uh, we need to go to the temp spirit Okay, ECHO echo dollar path uh, EC EXPORD export path is equal to current working directory and op S and we are root. So 
let's quickly do it just copy this paste it here okay we can't do it no we need to export the path again so we need to export the path here it is e x p o r t export path is equals to just hit enter and now we can do this and now we can do ls so now we are root again so id who am i root so that's all for this tutorial guys i know it's mm, maybe you have still doubts but i can't do anything with it because this is this is simple but i don't know how to explain in more depth so, so sorry for that but i will really try to write a writer maybe from the written write-up you will be able to uh, get it so you can follow me on twitter just follow me on twitter and you will get uh, a lot of posts because i used to retweet a lot so these are all amazing things so just do follow me on twitter and just subscribe my channel if you like this video please hit a like button and if you still have any doubt just comment down below and if you dislike the video then just dislike <laughs> and that's all for this tutorial guys please keep watching pen trading testing with spirit maybe i will see you next week so bye bye